When you want to approximate a function near some point, the simplest thing you can do is use a horizontal line that passes through that point. You're matching the function's value. If the function equals 3 at your point, your approximation is just the constant 3 everywhere. But look at this. While our blue function curves and changes, our red approximation is just flat. We're matching perfectly at our yellow point, but everywhere else, we're way off. This constant approximation is like trying to describe a roller coaster by only knowing its height at one spot, you're missing all the interesting behavior. So here's where it gets clever. Instead of just matching the value, let's also match how fast the function is changing at that point. In other words, let's match the derivative, the slope. Now, we get a linear approximation, a straight line that not only passes through our point, but also has the same steepness as the original function right there. Look at the improvement. Near our point of interest, the green line follows the blue curve much more closely. We're capturing not just where the function is, but also which direction it's heading and how fast. It's like knowing both a car's position and its velocity. Suddenly you can predict where it'll be in the near future. But we can do even better. Functions don't just have values and slopes. They also have curvature. Some bend upward like a smile. Others bend downward like a frown. And the second derivative tells us about this bending. When we add a term with x squared that accounts for the second derivative, our approximation starts matching the curvature too. See how the purple parabola hugs the blue curve over a much wider range. We're now matching the value, the slope, and the curvature all at once. Each piece of information we match, each derivative, extends the range where our polynomial approximation stays close to the true function.